Hi everyone, welcome to the topic Transduction in Bacteria. Transduction One of the mechanisms of genetic recombination in bacteria is transduction. Transduction was first described by Lederberg and Sinder in Salmonella typhimurium in the year 1952. In transduction, a bacteriophage, that is, a virus that attacks bacteria, is serving as a vector. That means it transfers a portion of bacterial DNA from one bacterium to another. Mainly, bacteriophages are of two types, virulent phages and temperate phages. Virulent phages, which undergoes lytic life cycle, it takes the control of host bacterial cell and undergoes multiplication within the host bacterium and progeny phages are released by the lysis of host bacterium. Temperate phages, which undergoes lysogenic life cycle, they do not harm the host bacterial cell. After the entry into the host bacterial cell, the phage DNA integrates with host bacterial chromosome in a non-infectious stage known as prophage and replicates along with bacterial chromosome. Such lysogenic phages mediates genetic recombination between bacteria by transduction. Depending upon the type of the phage, two types of transduction may occur, generalized and specialized. In generalized transduction, a lysogenic phage attaches to the host bacterial cell. All fragments of bacterial DNA that is from any region of bacterial chromosome have a chance to enter into a transducing phage. Any chromosomal gene of a bacterium may be transduced at random by a phage. But occasionally, the phage DNA may be excised from the bacterial chromosome and this process is known as prophage induction. Upon prophage induction, phage DNA initiates a lytic life cycle and many copies of phage DNA and protein coat components are synthesized in host bacterial cell. During assembly stage, when the phage DNA are packaged into capsids or protein coat, rarely a few genes of the bacterial chromosome become incorporated into the phage capsids by mistake. Such aberrant phages carrying a few bacterial chromosomal genes are the transducing phages. When such a defective transducing phage infects a new bacterium, it introduces its DNA carrying a few chromosomal genes of the first bacterium into the host cell. And few chromosomal genes of the first bacterium may recombine with the homologous region of the chromosome of second bacterium, which results in genetic recombination. Example for a generalized phage is P1. Specialized transduction is also known as restricted transduction. Here, transducing phage carries only specific portions of bacterial genome. Upon induction, sometimes the phage DNA may get excised from the bacterial chromosome. Excised phage DNA may carry along portions of bacterial chromosome adjacent to the integration sites. Thus, genome of transducing phage is usually defective and lack some part of its attachment site. It can infect another bacterium and transfer the defective gene set to the recipient. These genes cannot code for a lytic cycle. Instead, they integrate into the bacterial chromosome carrying the bacterial genes with them resulting in genetic recombination. The best studied specialized transducing phage is the lambda phage of E. coli. Lambda genome inserts into the host bacterial chromosome at specific locations known as attachment sites. Location of lambda prophage in the bacterial chromosome is always between bacterial genes for galactose metabolism, GAL and bio. Whenever the phage genome is excised from bacterial chromosome, it sometimes takes GAL or bio genes with it. Such phage particles are called lambda DGAL because they carry galactose utilizing genes. When phage carrying GAL or bio genes infect a new host bacterium, 
recombination with gallo biogenes of the host can occur specialized transduction is an extremely rare event when compared with generalized transduction because genes do not easily break off from the bacterial chromosome thank you for listening